So this video is one of a series of videos I've made about the prime counting function. And in this particular video, we're going to pay particular attention to an entry in the OEIS. It's the Online Encyclopedia of Integer Sequences. So basically, it's all about sequences of an interesting function that you've come across. And you can put a submit it to the OEIS and they will publish it if they find it valid for their for their for their encyclopedia so there's one sequence here which was submitted by gordon rigard a uh, fantastic mathematician that i know he just drinks a little bit too much coffee but he'll know what that means but this sequence here i found particularly interesting because it's n over pi of n which is related to our prime counting function and basically what it is is the number of iterations of n over pi of pi of n as a continued fraction and if you go on there and go to oeis a335620 you'll see all of those sequences in action in graphs and all kinds of format and he submitted this for the range of from 2 to 89 where n is in the integers so i'm going to have a look at a couple of examples and show you how this is worked out so you will also see the relevance as to the prime county function in the previous videos I've done where this is kind of linked. So we pick any number between 2 and 89, that's an integer. So on his uh, entry, he's used the number 21. So we won't use that here. We'll look at, say, number 50. So n over pi of n, where n equals 50. OK. So if we write this down, we'll have 50 over pi of 50. Now, pi over 50, that means the number of prime numbers up to and including the number 50. So I'm not going to go over that in detail, but you can work this out for yourselves. And we know that pi of 50, there is 15 prime numbers up to 50. So we can simplify this off just dividing through by five and we'll get 10 over three. Now 10 over three as a continued of fraction, that's the next thing we're interested in. So 10 over three, first of all, we find the integer part of this solution. So that is gonna be three. So I'm just gonna box that. And then that leaves us a leftover of one third. So that's our first iteration as far as this sequence is concerned. Now, the next thing we do on the next line, we take the reciprocal of this, which is three over one, and we find the integer part of this solution, which is three. And therefore then our leftover we know is zero. So at this particular point, we stop. So the iterations to get this as a continued fraction are two and we can write this in a particular way okay so this one has a continued fraction we've got three plus one over three okay that's the continued fraction form of this iteration here and also we need to know for this sequence the number of iterations that's what this oeis entry is all about so a of 50 so that that was our original number so if you go on there and check you can leave in the comments if you think this is incorrect. Uh, that's going to give us two because there's two iterations before we get to the zero. So A of 50, that equals two. So now I'm going to take this off the board and we're going to look at when N equals 89. So we'll do that next. OK, so now we're going to have a look at this number sequence here now for N over pi of N. So N over pi of N for 89. So let's write this up on the board, 89 over pi of 89. Now, how many prime numbers is there up to 89? Well, I know there's 25 up to 100. So therefore, up to 89, there will be 24, because there's only one prime number between 89 and 100. And that will be 97. So then we've got... 89 over 24. Okay, so let's write this down as a continued fraction. This is going to be a bit more challenging. 
So let's go for that. So 89 over 24. So the integer part of this, I'll put that in a box as I did in the previous example. That gives us three. And our leftover is going to be 17 over 24. Okay, so now I bring this down to here in reciprocal format. So now we've got 24 over 17. 24 over 17, well the integer part of this is going to give us 1. And then our leftover is 7 over 17. Okay, let's bring this 7 over 17 down to here. And reciprocal of that. Again, let's take the integer of that. 17 over 7 we know is 2 as an integer. And our leftover is going to leave us 3 sevenths. Okay, now let's bring this down in reciprocal format. So now we've got 7 over 3. That's going to leave us with 2 again. And then 1 over 3. Now 1 over 3. That's going to give us 3 over 1, which just leaves us with 3 plus 0. OK, so now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We know there's 5 iterations. So A of 89. That may not look quite nice, it's a bit nicer. So A of 89 equals 5. So there's 5 iterations. So as far as this number sequence is concerned, of this entry here, A89 equals 5. So now we're going to write this as a continued fraction and see what it looks like. So let's write this as a continued fraction. So we start off with our first integer. So we have a 3. And then we're going to add the reciprocal of 1 over something. So our next number we're going to write is our 1. That's our next number. So now we've got 1 plus 1 over something. Now our next integer along here is now going to be a 2. The 2 plus, again, 1 over something. So 1 over. Our next number will be a 2. So 2 plus, and again, 1 over something, which will be a third. So plus 1 over 3. So that's our continued fraction for 89 over 24. And we've got our sequence here, five iterations, is, is those five iterations. Okay.